Hi, my name is Katarina and I'm a physiotherapist here at Kinetex Dorval. Today I want to talk to you a bit about frozen shoulder, also sometimes referred to as adhesive capsulitis. So what we don't know about frozen shoulder is exactly what causes it, but what we do know is a bit about how it works, so I'm hoping to share that with you today. So if you think of the shoulder joint, you can almost imagine that there's something that resembles a water balloon surrounding it. And what happens in frozen shoulder is that that water balloon can become deflated and thickens up, which can result in stiffness at the level of the shoulder. This eventually leads to some of the symptoms that we often see in patients with frozen shoulder. Those being pain, especially at the beginning stages, and this is usually followed by progressive limitations in shoulder mobility. So this can look like difficulty reaching for overhead objects, difficulty washing your hair, or even putting on a jacket. So what can physiotherapy do to help? Well, treatment here in physio usually focuses on helping to reduce your pain and regaining your mobility at the level of the shoulder joint through manual therapy techniques and also through at-home exercises so that you can maintain the gains you make here in physio at home. So the recovery from frozen shoulder can be a slow one. However, we hope to help guide you through the process to help you get back to the activities that are most meaningful to you.